an ego comes. And with an ego, a huge ego. Mm -hmm. And we're both looking in the horizon. And the horizon is, we can see. So as you look at this horizon, what do you notice? It's another place. It's mm -hmm. the earth. Mm -hmm. Describe this place for me. more. Where is this blue coming from? The light. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, like an inside, uh, a cube, but it's not a cube, it's made out of eight sides. Mm -hmm. It's like an igloo, but it's blue. It's made out of a blue ig igloo. Yes. Mm-hmm. I'm inside. Take a look at your body. What do you look like? I don't have a body. I don't have anything. Okay. I'm light. You're light. Do you have any particular color? This light. can see my legs. Yeah. It's blue, green, and yellow. It's mm -hmm. the three colors inside. Mm -hmm. Inside the igloo? Inside of me. Inside of you. Is there any other one there with you? So let's discover a little bit about this place. What is the importance of this place in which you are right now? What is this? Recovering. You're recovering? Mm -hmm. So as you breathe, I'd like for you to just expand the time and space that you're in this place. And as the time goes by and you're ready, we're going to move to the next important time and place that has impacted this soul. I'm going to count from five to one. With each number, you'll begin to travel to the next important time and place. Five. Beginning to leave that behind. Four. Traveling through the ethers, the cosmos. Three. Allowing the new images to appear, the new lifetime, the new places. Two. And one. Be there. Where are you? Looks like ancient Greece mm -hmm. or something similar. What do you notice first? My dress is a tunic, white mm -hmm. tunic. Mm -hmm. Are you female there? Or male? Um, an old guy. Mm -hmm. I'd like for you to step completely into that body and mind. Looking out through those eyes, 
dropping deeper and deeper into this man's body now. What is this place? Atlantis. Mm -hmm. It's a piece of Atlantis. A piece of Atlantis. Yes. Mm -hmm. What it's are you doing? It used to be. It's what it used to be. So tell me what it is that you're doing there. I have codes that I have oh. to keep. Mm -hmm. What do these codes do? Time travel. Time travel. Tell me more about these codes. to keep them because it's something that we have left mm -hmm. from Atlantis because it doesn't exist. I have to figure it out. There's lots of information. Mm -hmm. All right. So what we're going to do is you're going to go to the place in which you work with these codes. Be there now. Be in the place where you work with them. And as you look around, describe what this place is. It's all round and different levels. Mm -hmm. Everything is white. What is this place made out of? It's uh, something like marble, but it's not marble. Mm -hmm. And you say it has different levels. Is this an, a building? It's not a building, but it mm. has levels. Mm -hmm. Where is it that you do what you do in this building? I hang out in the middle. It's like I hang out and I can go up and down. Mm -hmm. Do you work with anybody there? Yes. Okay. Let's dive into that. Who are those that you work with? I feel them as consciousness. Mm -hmm. and it's like they are behind me. It's all consciousness and they guide me up and down. Tell me where they're guiding you. The codes. Mm -hmm. To see how they work. Okay. It's a hologram. That's why I'm hanging in this mm -hmm. space. Are you within this I'm hologram? I'm in the middle of the hologram. Okay. I can see the hologram. Mm -hmm. So the consciousness is opening up the holograms. That's the codes. Mm -hmm. How are you affected by this hologram? I have to, have to see how they work and translate it for humanity. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so I'd like for you to just go deeper into that hologram. As you begin to go deeper, you'll be able to see more and understand more. And just relax into this hologram as you go deeper. And you'll begin to see all of these codes mapped out all around you. It's a map of the universe. It's a map of the constellations. Mm -hmm. As you describe it, you'll begin to understand it more and more. So just start talking about this. Yes. It's like a rainbow, and inside the rainbow, I can see the different constellations. And as you focus the different colors of the rainbow, you go in. Which, all right, so which color are you focusing on right now? Blue. All right, so I'd like for you to go ahead and go deep into the blue as it opens up and describe to me what's there. Here's the constellation of Cassiopeia. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a door. A door? Yes, a door to another, another dimension, mm -hmm. another universe, actually. Uh, Are you able to step through that door now? Yes. Mm -hmm. Describe what happens. It's opening a, like a vortex of layers of fire. Mm -hmm. What does the fire represent? Layers. Mm -hmm. And I, in the other side and I, everything is black. Mm -hmm. Step into that blackness now. And as you adjust to this new location, you'll be able to understand what's there. See through the blackness. See. Like, it's a light. Mm -hmm. Like powder. Beyond the darkness is there light? Yes, it's powder, powder. Mm -hmm. Are you able to access this light? Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell me what happens. see like the horizon of a light mm -hmm. in a brown shape it's, the horizon is a beautiful green the horizon is a beautiful green yes what do you imagine is creating this green a planet mm -hmm. Expand that light. Expand your vision to this planet. I can see a DNA. It's not a it's, planet, it's a DNA. It's DNA. Mm -hmm. yes. Tell me about this DNA. 
It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. it's... It moves. The DNA moves? Yes, and it's all light, but there's a piece is not light. There's a piece is, is uh, like, it doesn't have the light, so it's like a stone. Mm -hmm. Why do you imagine? What I see? Mm -hmm. You'll understand as you look at it. It's a whole universe inside mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. It's but I see this DNA become became a horse, a seahorse. Mm -hmm. It's a seahorse. Are you within the seahorse? I see the seahorse. You see it. In front of me. Mm -hmm. What does that seahorse represent in this universe? Divinity. The knowledge of divinity. It's mm -hmm. a code. Yes. This is a code. So now that you understand that this is the code, how are you holding this code? How are you keeping it? It's the code that Activates what we understand for divinity mm -hmm. in the DNA. Beautiful. It's a molecule. It's a, it's the understanding. It's what we need to understand exactly what divinity is. Mm -hmm. We there. are a part. Of, we are a part of divinity. But divinity is much more than what we think, because divinity is a part of another divinity. So we need this molecule, this code to be activated in this little corner of the DNA. Very good. This, this horse has to be put in. Once you have this horse put in, what happens? We have to put it in because otherwise I don't know. All right, let's do that. Let's do that now. I am floating back in this place. Mm -hmm. And I can see how it's working. Mm-hmm. Inside me. Beautiful. So I'd like for you to go ahead and map that out. Map it out to where Marielena can understand it. The DNA is an antenna mm -hmm. for consciousness. Actually, what we understand is not inside us, it's outside. Mm -hmm. And the coding is bringing in the frequency of what we need to understand, so it becomes organic. What is etherical and what is frequency of knowledge has to become organic so we can understand it and we can manifest it. So the codes are the piece for mm -hmm. the ideas to become organic. 
So as the keeper of this DNA, of this information, what is it that Maria Elena needs to know at this time? I'd like for you to bring her in and just map it out for her. Bring her into the hologram with you and explain it to her. All the consciousness that's in the different dimensions, no matter where it is in this universe, other universes, there's always a door. And you open the door with codes. You bring the code and you transform the frequency of the code inside the DNA to be organic. And when it becomes organic, it becomes a part of the self, a part of the body. And in the body, it manifests in the dimension of where the body is living. It becomes another part of energy. It transforms. DNA transforms the energy through bodies into energy, back to energy again. So DNA transforms a frequency of energy into another frequency of energy through the body. The body is a channel. That's why it has minerals, that's why it has water, that's why it has oxygen, that's why, that's why it has ether. Because what is part of the planet Earth and the planet Earth has a consciousness and we can give it, we can change it into words and sound. Mm -hmm. So right now, Maria Elena has already gone through several levels of this knowledge. She's seeking to expand this knowledge now. Has this information that was given to her what she's looking for, or do we need to go beyond? Beyond. Very good. Very yes. good. So I'd like for you to go ahead and in within this hologram, I'd like for you to expand this hologram out. And we're going to begin using this hologram to travel, to travel within this information, to expand it, to go higher and higher in consciousness. So I'm going to take you stepping up. I'd like for you to find something in that hologram that we can use as a level, a lever, to begin to increase the information. It could be a lever, like a computer, but the lever has 10 different steps. With each one, the hologram will expand. Let's begin to move the lever to number one, expanding the universe of this hologram beyond. Two, opening it up more and more. Three, turning the lever to three, expanding it, reaching different levels of consciousness now. Four, expanding beyond. And if I get to a level that you'd like to stop, just let me know. Five, looking around and exploring. Six, beyond, beyond even more. Seven, 
Turning the level up even more, the hologram expands with more information. Eight. As you breathe in, breathe in that knowledge and breathe out. Nine and ten. Look around you and tell me what this place is. It's a white cloud. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. It's the atomic bomb. Mm -hmm. It's the shape. Mm -hmm. The mushroom shape. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What are you accessing in this cloud? What's in there? That is the shape that transforms mm -hmm. energy. Mm -hmm. The shape can be. shape of three-dimensioning knowledge mm -hmm. or going back to hollowness. I don't even know what it means, hollow, but it's the word that I can see exactly what it is. Mm -hmm. It's like a void, like an emptiness. Yes, but it's destruction. It's, it's mm -hmm. not what we want. Okay. That's that's not a, that's not what we want. Mm -hmm. Keep going. There's no way I can go out of here. What's keeping you in there? It's, it's, it's like I feel like my feet going down. Mm -hmm. I'm trapped. I'm completely trapped in there. <clears throat> so let's find out what this hollowness, what's keeping you there. Look around and beyond it. What energy is in there keeping you down? What emotions? What frequencies? What's there? Horrible. Horrible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's, 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 the, it's the earth. Mm -hmm. uh, what the earth needs to be cleaned. Mm -hmm. It's like a, an unconscious material of, of dust. Where is all of this coming from, this mushroom cloud? Distraction. Mm -hmm. It's distraction. And, and it's like the mushroom is, is the mushroom is, ah, uh, uh, what else is trapped in there with you? Look around I you. I, I'm outside. Mm -hmm. The, the measure is like I, I can see like a laser mm -hmm. going inside this and being anchored in on Earth, and I'm there. Mm -hmm. Where is this razor coming from? What's cutting into it? It's like a radar, mm -hmm. uh, the radar, a laser. It's mm -hmm. a red, red laser. All right. I'm, I'm getting sick, really. All right. So I'd like for you to just separate yourself from that and see it as an observer, and let's follow that red laser. Where is that red laser coming from? A 
ship. Mm-hmm. It's a huge ship. Mm-hmm. With, like this. And what has that ship done to the earth? It has a, an electromagnetic field. Mm-hmm. It's like a big year of electromagnetical energy and is sending this light towards the the earth and it's mm -hmm. oh I can see it perfectly now. Mm -hmm. The more you describe it, the better you'll see it and you'll understand yes. it. Yes, 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 yes. It's it's like suctioning. Mm-hmm. It's it suctioning. Mm -hmm. But it's like it's stopping the time. Mm -hmm. It stops the time to on Earth. It's mm -hmm. like a war. Look at the year. The numbers will come up to you. What year is this? 1963. Mm -hmm. And where is this? Look on the globe. See it. Expand your consciousness up farther, and you'll see where it is. Uh, Russia. Mm -hmm. And as mm -hmm. <coughs> oh, this is horrible. Oh. The Antarctic. The Antarctic. Okay. Antarctic. The South, South mm -hmm. Pole. The South Pole. Yes. Mm -hmm. What is this beam doing? Is it taking away or putting something in there? It's stopping time. It's, it's stopping putting, time. All right. It's putting something. All right. So let's go along with that stoppage of time, and it will give you time to understand what they're putting there. What is this red light beam putting in these places? It's manipulating white blood cells. Mm -hmm. White blood cells? Yes. It's mm -hmm. Yes. White blood cells. Mm -hmm. It's like a small little virus, a small little bacteria, or I don't know if it's a bacteria. It's The laser has information and it's like small little robots coming into the blood and they get the white cells. And it doesn't work anymore. Blood doesn't work anymore the way it's supposed to work. Mm -hmm. So take a look at this red light. See who is being affected by it. Is this for people, or is this for the entire atmosphere in that place? It comes, it comes as a gelatin is, you eat it, mm -hmm. you eat it in food. What does it do to the people when they eat it? It's in water. Mm -hmm. Go wow. deeper and see what it, it does. Into the bloodstream, and it's a, it's like a bacteria, like a bluish bacteria. It's, it's a dark blue around this light, and it's like a virus, like a bacteria, like a virus, and, and it goes in the stream of the bloodstream and mm -hmm. it paralyzes your, your nerves and it goes high. They are implants. 
Mm -hmm. They go to the brain. And, and they settle, they're more, they're, they settle in the brain. And they control. And as they go to the DNA, and they learn how, when conception is done, how to multiply through the cycles in the mother and the father, so they can multiply in all the generation to go. Oh, God. Tell they, me, tell me what it's going, it's doing. They release information. In the time of conception, they release information back to the ship. Mm -hmm. What do they need this information for? No. happening. You could breathe normally. Just take a deep breath in. Breathe in. Just release the fear. What's happening? They disconnect. They disconnect the human. <sighs> Who do they disconnect it from? God. Mm -hmm. <sighs> this is so mean. Mm -hmm. It's like a ball <sighs> when you <sighs> no. So I'd like for you now to center yourself and understand that you are the keeper of the codes. You are the keeper of the codes. And you'll understand why it is that you're here and seeing this right now. What is the mission that you have come here to do now that you understand what's happened? Humanity is, is inside this program of this disconnection of remembering. Oh, mm -hmm. they are. I feel horrible. Mm -hmm. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask for that information to be transferred in to your DNA to understand how to unlock it. I'm bringing forth Jesus. One, two, and three, now. Feel his hands on you. As you breathe, feel his energy flowing through you. I want you to tell me what he tells you. Tranquility. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Feel his energy. What else does he say? Mm -hmm. You're part of me. Mm -hmm. Can you lift your microphone up a little bit? You can move. Very good. Very good. 
That's good. And as you release your hands, feel that tranquility in your hands. Feeling them relaxed. That's it. And you know how to use those hands. I'd like for you to be guided by Jesus and begin to put those magnetic passes over your body to begin to feel that tranquility. Go ahead and begin to use your hands now. Begin to move that hand. Mm -hmm. Allow him to guide that hand. Guide that hand. Mm -hmm. Very good. As he moves your hand, feel the tranquility. Feel the peace going through you. As you connect with each chakra, allow the chakra to release anything that's tensing it up. Activating that chakra once again. Feel the tranquility as the energy comes back into your body. Breathe it in and breathe out all the limitations and blockages. Very good. Allow your other hand to be guided also. And let's double the efforts. Allow Jesus to take both your hands now. Both hands. Go ahead. Connect. Bring it up. Allow him to take your hands and guide them. Mm -hmm. Very good. Feel that heart opening up. Very good. Feel that love. Very good. And you will notice now that Jesus will look up into the sky and bring down the power of God through him and into your hands now. Look into his eyes now and see the eyes of God. Tranquility, peace, and love. And with this power comes the knowledge that Marilena needs to connect fully. To be able to do the healing. The healing of all of this technology. Bring in that power now. Feel your heart expand. What does Jesus tell you? Welcome back. Mm hmm. <clears throat> mm hmm. Thank you. I feel so good now. Mm hmm. So now that Jesus is there, I'd like for you to use him as information. He is your teacher. He has brought you through this for a reason. And now we could connect with him and ask, what is the reason you needed to experience this technology that was being manipulating so many people? Why did you need to experience this? Freedom, people. Mm -hmm. Make people free. To make people free. 
from programs, mm -hmm. artificial programs. Yes. Is this the reason that Maria Elena came to Earth in this lifetime? Yes, she volunteered. Mm -hmm. What is exactly her mission as this holder of this DNA, this activator? She is one of the guys in my team. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me about your team? When I came first, it was to give the knowledge that we are living in different dimensions. Mm -hmm. And the door is in your heart. Mm -hmm. So the message, the message of Jesus was to go into that heart, is that it? Yes. Mm -hmm. And my team is made up of lots of people here and in other dimensions. Mm -hmm. The ones that are here are bringing peace, love, the planet. Mm -hmm. The ones that are here bringing peace to the planet now. Lower your microphone a little bit more so I can hear these words. Beautiful. Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. It's all over the planet. The team has come to bring back the original frequencies of love. It's time. It's time to be responsible of your own freedom. Now, Maria, mm -hmm. so right now, the mind and the consciousness are working together, but the mind is locked with manipulation of programs and the soul is in a cage in the moment that you are conceived as a human race and that is what she saw mm -hmm. why did she need to experience that so intensely this program because it is what every soul is experienced when it enters in a body mm. and wants to release that information of captivity. There is no way you can live a free life the free will with these programs. So I need a team to go and unlock the programs. Mm -hmm. How is she doing it? She has to learn it by living it by herself. Mm -hmm. So she knows how it feels and how to look for it. So she's been given this map and she wants to be able to get to the next step. What's holding her back from having this information blown open for her? The blocks she saw mm -hmm. in the conceiving time. Section is the key. Mm -hmm. Let's free everybody from this now. Tell me how. Let's come back to the moment 
before us. Mm -hmm. How do we go back to the moment we were manifested? Time. Mm -hmm. What was conceived? These programs? Okay. Now we're being told that we're going towards the fifth dimension. Is that true or not? Yes and no. Okay. Can you explain that for me, please? Yes. If the soul is giving humankind the information to grow, develop, heal, be free, and know if the soul decides to be what so, so most some souls are freezed. Some souls are free already? Some souls are free? Freeze. Freeze. Oh. Freeze. oh, they're freezed. Okay, they're frozen. Yes. Mm. But they are frozen in time. Okay. So they're frozen in this life and other lives. Mm -hmm. So there's no way they can go to another dimension. How do we release those souls that are frozen? have to work in the soul, not in the mind. Mm -hmm. Love is not enough in this planet because the planet has been frozen. By liberating the planet, we liberate the souls. Mm -hmm. Why has God chosen or allowed for this to happen? doesn't have anything to do with this. Mm. It's part of the experiment, of the experiment of, life, of living. Mm -hmm. this cre creation is part of this. But not by locking the souls. This, this is a part of creation that is not supposed to be now. Now, Maria Elena saw herself that she was playing around with time travel. What is the key about time travel with her? Manipulation. Mm -hmm. In time travel, you can manipulate evolution. Mm -hmm. And time travel has not been created to manipulate evolution, but to help evolution in the soul. So how is she helping with her knowledge of time travel? She has to get the key now to unlock. the conception time for everybody that is alive now. Where is this key? It's in the cones. Mm -hmm. Let's go together. Mm -hmm. Let's go there. Yes. So I'm going to have you go ahead and as you take a deep breath in, dive deeper and deeper and deeper, going through time and space now, searching for the key to unlock those codes. As you look around, you see time and space 
going through you and around you. As you get closer and closer, you'll begin to understand where you are and what this place is. We're in a pyramid. In a pyramid, mm hmm Mesopotamia. Mesopotamia. The mm -hmm. are the freedom in the war. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Dot. Slash. Dot. Dot. Slash. 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 Dot. Triangle. Slash. Triangle. is not a language that is freedom, but it transforms when you look at the dimension. It is the key for life to begin as a form the light of life, the colors of the cell, it's a whole universe. Perception is divine. Mm -hmm. This code that you are looking at, who put this code here? I did. Mm -hmm. I was 23 years old. Keep going. This law, the mystery of life, human life, is freedom. And now you're back to retrieve this. Yes. Now that you have the key. And you have the blessings to use it. What will you be doing with this key now? Free souls. Mm hmm. Unlock. Unlock the souls. Can you, can you use your voice to unlock those souls? All right. I'd like for you to use your voice now. You can word it out, you can sing it out, but I'd like for you to just use that frequency of those codes in order to connect. Connect. First, planet.
What has happened now with that frequency? A beam of blue light comes through the whole planet. What comes through the whole? What comes through? A beam of light. A beam of light. Mm -hmm. What color is that light? Blue. Blue. Light blue. Blue. Mm -hmm. It's burning. Burning. Oh, the atmosphere is all burning. Mm -hmm. Unlocking. What happens next? Earth is breathing. Mm. Back. The pulse of Earth is coming back to the origin of radio. Earth is breathing. Beautiful. And now, our own souls that want to be free connect with the heartbeat of our earth. And in this highway, we are unlocking the memory. So the codes that we're using now to unlock from conception. So you're going to be using the codes now to unlock yes. those codes of conception yes. that are blocking those souls. Right. Very good. Yes. All right. All the souls. We're all about the souls. Mm -hmm. This and now and all the souls that through healing want to be free but by getting again consciousness back the true consciousness and the codes are right now entering The codes are exactly what she saw. Is the sea of horse has the codes? Mm -hmm. Is there a way that you can transmit those codes so I can hear them? Yes. Visualize the sea horse. The sea horse moving. And in his eyes. see the image of a symbol. What do you see the image of? A symbol. A single? Symbol. A symbol, okay. What is the symbol? 
you call it? The Horus Eye. Mm -hmm. The Horus Eye. That's a code. Mm -hmm. The Eye of Horus inside of the sea, uh, seahorse? Yes. Mm -hmm. Did you just focus the black dot inside the horns? I mm -hmm. and there is the code coming into you. So Maria Elena is going to be the transmitter for all of you. Thank you. Can you repeat that, please, louder? A light is coming into the pineal gland. All right. And it opens to the DNA codes. And there is one. There is a part of the DNA that has no light because it has an implant. So the implant goes away in time, in space, disappears. disintegrates and as it goes away in her it goes away in you that are listening now and the new frequency coming in cleaning up DNA. So the codes that have, has always been there from the beginning of time are released and come back as a code in DNA. And it is done now. Thank you. So as this code is activated in Marilena and all the others who are listening, I'd like for you to just feel the body and see what changes you notice in this body. Brain mm -hmm. releases mitochondrial information in all the cells. Mm -hmm. And in the brain, and what can she do now with this information that's been released? Bring the health to people. Mm -hmm. Yes, everybody deserves to be healthy because the idea of evolution is health. You can evolution it if you feel health, if you are healthy. Because illness is a manipulation from the conception time. Mm -hmm. So she needs to take this now to the next level? Yes. To be able to see and expand that map? Yes. Will she be able to do that now? We're giving it to her now. Wonderful. Okay. 
health answering to you, Alba. Mm -hmm. Health is the fifth dimension. So if you are in health, you live that dimension. You understand now? Yes, so when you are feeling healthy, your body is healthy, you are in the fifth dimension. Yes, because the frequencies of health belong to the fifth dimension. Mm -hmm. Health is consciousness of yourself, perfect consciousness of yourself. A perfect consciousness of yourself in a healthy body means that you understand how it works, you understand what happens, you understand who you are. So as we talk about health, at this moment we are all in isolation in order to maintain our health. What is the reason that we have gone through this virus scare at this time? The virus is a blessing if you want to see it that way. Mm -hmm. It divides people. The ones who care about life are at home, cleansing the body. If you love to be alive, you are considering to be home because you of life, so you get the blessing, the blessing of keeping your life healthy. So for those who are staying at home, thinking that life is going to come in a better way, yes it is, because right now you're getting that blessing. That blessing is consciousness. That blessing is what you want, this manifestation of a blessing. The ones who are fighting against, they are fighting, and life is not a fight. You don't fight. You live. The body is a blessing of consciousness because in a body you manifest your wishes, your dreams, your power. So when you are completely in health, the power you have manifesting new life is enormous. So this virus is a blessing in a way. You have to have peace inside of you to see it that way. And all the blessings that you are receiving while you are at home, staying at home, is a blessing of all the potential that it was asleep yourself. So be home at least one more month to grow the potential, the highest potential that you have, all of you inside, cleaning up who you are, being clear of who you are, and letting this new information coming in because the health is power and it's not the power of what you can do, it's the power of knowing who you are. Because all together, all together are power. So see Alba, that group that was together with you, they are all becoming very powerful because they are helping each other. And they are doing it in a little group. Can you imagine the whole world doing the same? 
That would be beautiful, wouldn't it? Yes. But this is the beginning of it because we are releasing the blockings in the conception time. The blockings in the military. You know, the military has lots of blockings coming also from other dimensions of entities. Mm -hmm. They are working for keeping the power. But the planet needs to go on. People need to go on. And I am here to release that working in the soul. Beautiful. Can you identify who you are? Jesus. Mm-hmm. Jesus talking through Maria. Very good. You call me Jesus. Mm-hmm. Very good. Why was Maria Elena going through that experience? of frustration, of not being able to find the actual key. What is the key that she was looking for? Wisdom. Wisdom. Mm -hmm. And empowerment. But the wisdom is knowing who you are as an origin. Do you think that after this session she knows who she is? No. What secrets are being kept from her? I'm not going to tell you. I thought you would fall for that. She knows. Mm -hmm. Yes. But she needs to live as human still. Mm -hmm. To feel as a human. To love as a human. To heal as a human. That's the power that she has as a healer. It's not human. That's why. Mm -hmm. It's better that she keeps on living as human. All right. So some of the things that she should know would not benefit her at this time. She needs to be human at this time. Yes. Yes. Very good. Oh, my love. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. You are a human, but your spirit is not human. Mm -hmm. You need to live as human because you need to develop creativity still. Mm -hmm. The potential that you have, you need to use it as human because you need to break the the mental wall. That's why you need to be human still. Can you give me some more information about this lifetime that she had in Atlantis? How is that lifetime affecting her now? This time travel, keeper of the codes, lifetime because she keeps keeping the truth mm -hmm. it's the truth that the coding has in the human body so one of my team part of my team is keeping the codes alive integrate 
the codes cannot be forgotten. They cannot be what? Forgotten. Forgotten, okay. Is that why she put it on the wall? I put it on the wall. Ah, okay. Very good. She wasn't even born. <laughs> Was she part of your team when you were alive? Yes, but in the other side. Okay. <laughs> she, she was helping as a spirit. Ah. Okay. Don't reveal, please don't reveal. <laughs> Yes, she's part of the team. Very good. And you too. I mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. Yes. She's part of the team, but in another side. Very good. She... Now, she tells me that she falls asleep a lot when she meditates. She goes into a dark place. And she doesn't remember anything. Where is it that she's going and why? It's the only way her body is going to sleep. Mm. She goes she goes back home. Could you show her where that is, please? What is home like? I'm Maria Elena now. Mm -hmm. I I program the brain. Mm -hmm. I. I'm architect. I'm architect of, of how the consciousness works in the brain. The thinking, how it works, how you think, how the connection from the wholeness of the knowledge works in a brain. Mm -hmm. And as the architect of the brain, as this human, Maria Elena, have you put any limitations into this brain that has kept her from achieving all of this potential that she's looking for? Expanding. Yes. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Because she has to feel what it is to have a brain. To teach how the researchers need to feel in order to feel the energy coming in. To believe in energy. Mm -hmm. Will she be able to connect more? with symbols, with teachers, with the light. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Now that she has cleared this up, will she be able to open up more? Yes. What advice do you have to give her today? Oh. 
party more. Mm -hmm. Have more fun. Mm -hmm. She's given herself the pleasure of knowing more people, connecting with more people, having more fun. Is this part of the plan? Yes. Good. Just a bit like you, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Part of the intention of quarantine with people is to open up to other sides of the world. This is like a big metaphor. When you're fine with yourself inside your house, inside your home, inside your body, you can connect with anybody in the other side of the world just by being free. Mm -hmm. Just when you want to open up. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Could you tell me why it is that you brought Maria Elena to this session today? Because it's time to eliminate the program from the conceiving time conception mm -hmm. and to liberate Earth from that program. It's like a lock that is not there anymore. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Very good. Is there anything else that you would like to tell her today or do you think that we are complete for today? Very good. Very good. Wow. sweating so much yeah you were you went through a lot <gasps> ah. wow <laughs> are you back Kind of, yeah. Yes, it's, I just feel feel strange. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wow, I feel strange. Yes, I could see. Mm -hmm. um, todo el maligno, mm -hmm. the nasty stuff. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I could see everything and I could see how people mm -hmm. suffered. Yeah. I yeah. could feel all the suffering. I could feel, mm -hmm. I could feel the free will going around, you know, the other side of the free will. Yeah. Like this. Yeah. Yeah. And it was a program. Yeah. You were in that program. That's what you felt. And this ship, it was like something like this mm. with all these lasers from the middle yeah. and had the hole. And when I was in the programming, I could feel Earth talking to me saying, free, free. Yeah. But I couldn't say it. But you were like, what, what was being told is that at the time, this happens at the time of conception that you feel this. This is when it's. It takes place, right? Yes. The programming comes exactly the time when you're conceived. Yes. When, when the light goes like this, poof, yeah. your soul is trapped and you yeah. don't remember anything. Mm -hmm. I mean, because of the program, 
is a program that disconnects you from God. Even, I mean, before, before that, you could born and you could remember, you could feel God. Yeah. But that, that chip, and then there's other chips, you know, going in water that, that goes to your blood and, and everything goes, you know, like little, little robots. Yeah, little nanobots. Yeah, um, they're yeah. all the time sending information. Yeah. And every time, every time uh, there's a soul incarnating, that program is like this, you know? Mm -hmm. So there's no way you can do your um, mission. Yeah. That, well, that's why there's so much karma. That's why there's so much evil because mm -hmm. people get lost. Yeah. What an experience, huh? But, but there was a key. I, um, I, I just, I don't remember very clear, but I remember mm -hmm. me floating. Mm -hmm. um, and the seahorse coming like that. Yeah. That was the key. The seahorse was the DNA. That's the, it, it was amazing. The stuff that, that came out. But it's liberated already because my soul was saying, please, please do it now. I don't want to go and search that because I don't want to go through that anymore. <laughs> I was asking, please, I don't want to go through this anymore. I can't move. Yeah. Yes. And then Jesus came and helped. Thank you that you called him because yeah. I couldn't. I, yeah, well, that was I the couldn't do anything. That was the only one that could help because he is your teacher. And he has a strong connection with you and with me. So, you know. But that's... in that moment, you know, that I couldn't move. Yeah, I, couldn't I know. Do anything. I know. I know you were, you I were was, there. I paralyzed. was like here. Life. I was completely paralyzed. Yeah. And I was, I was um, divided in two. Yeah. I was, I was dying in that moment. I was dying. Oh, you didn't die. That was your, no. your but mind I, was saying you were dying. Defeated. You were <laughs> The feeling, the feeling, I was, I was like, this is the feeling that I had, this, I was like this, that's the feeling. Yeah, yeah. It was horrible, horrible, it was a horrible experience, but in a way it was a good experience, but it was a horrible yes, experience. Yes, I, I understand that. That's what people don't understand about hypnosis is that even though it seems so horrible to watch, but it is necessary to go through it. There is something in that lesson, okay? It's, it's um, you know, you, this is the powerful work that you do. This is how powerful your work is. So obviously everything that you do is going to be more intense. Mm -hmm. And we only touched the surface. I mean, this is what you needed to know right now. I'm sure if you have future sessions, it's going to be more information. But this is what you needed right now. One. I, <laughs> I, know, want I know you want another one. <laughs> you, need, you need to bake this one for a little while and see what happens. Did you expect this? No. No. What did, what did you expect? Nothing. First, nothing. But... I didn't expect anything about okay. this. Is this, uh, is, is this something you want to share with and me? I and I tell you something. I yeah. never believed in Atlantis. Never. Mm, there you go. I, hey, I always there. thought it was all blah, 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 blah. I always thought, I always thought you know, I, I, I know there's other, other things, yeah. but it wasn't Atlantis. It was something. But this coding thing is, is really yeah. interesting. Yeah. So let me ask you something before we keep talking. Do you want to share this with other people? Um, I have to know because the okay. coding is there. It's there. Well, because I ask you this because it's really important for people to understand because when you came in here into this session, you didn't even know if you could be hypnotized, right? No. I mean, no, okay, I, so I thought I was going to fall asleep or I was just going to be like, <laughs> and I tell you something, I never had a regression. I mm. always had progressions. Mm. Yeah, well, as an you ET. go as an ET. Yes. So you didn't yeah. need to, to go into that life at this time, but 
So what advice do you give other people who are coming into this now and saying, whoa, I don't want to feel like I'm going to die? <laughs> um, I feel so happy. I feel so happy. Um, I still don't know who I am. I still don't know what I'm doing here. But um, that's part of that's part of the life we are here to discover. But for sure, for sure, um, thinking about what I lived, this horrible thing, and feeling the release of the coding, um, mm-hmm. what I could feel is that everybody that's here, living now in this moment of time, yeah. Um, came to liberate and release information from other timing um, of life now. And I think we're very dangerous. People like you, like an I, I think we're very dangerous because we are destroying these codes, these, these programs. Programming. We're destroying, yeah, we're destroying whatever there is. Mm-hmm that this planet is a planet for experimenting, of course, free will is here, but the experimenting we're doing is time to, it's time that that we all know exactly who we are through health, because what I understood is that health is giving you the empowerment to know who you are and who you are it means that we are all a whole. I understand now like this because all together we can make a progress of mankind that that is coming late. We, we need to do it now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and the teaching of the virus, I mean, when I was listening, because I was back there listening to this thing about the virus that you were talking. Mm-hmm. You were talking, uh, but I was behind. I was very far yeah. away. Um, this talking is that this virus is a good chance for all of us to connect with the potential that we have. And the potential is in the origin, but the origin is knowledge, is the, is the wisdom that you have. And... Um, The humankind without that seal, you know, in, the, in your in your soul, is so powerful. I mean, this planet is so powerful because here is where we can manifest mm-hmm. things that are mind blowing. Yeah, and it's time to do it. It's time to do it. So, <clears throat> mm-hmm. all the, um, I think so. I, that's what I. Yeah. That's more or less what it came to my mind. So was it worth going out there in this, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, quarantine time and getting your headset? <laughs> you know that I, I was a bit afraid of, of getting something, you know, but I found it. Hey, that's but, right. <laughs> yeah. And it was worth it, right? Oh, yes, it was worth it. Yeah. So do you have services that you provide for people that they would be interesting interested in in working with you yeah sure so so tell everybody what it is that you do and where you are um i'm in quito in ecuador but actually with the online thing i'm here (laughs) i'm in your house i can go to your house directly (laughs) there you go you can enjoy the scene (laughs) and you see i'm in miami and in quito (laughs) at the same time man i mean this is wonderful uh what i do i do the map of the soul. I tell people, I can tell people through healing um, what, what kind of energy they need to be healed. And heal, healing is getting consciousness and comprehension of who you are. And I can tell them what they're missing, what they need to focus. And I heal bad programs, all the programs, all the memories, uh, beliefs and stuff like that, and entities, of course. And you can get a GPS of, of who you are in the right moment 
yes so you can live free you can live with with the best version of who you are and that means that you have to clean up a lot you have mm -hmm. to heal a lot and this healing is is just consciousness is giving you yeah it's giving you so, lots of information how do they get a hold of you they uh my webs are down because i don't know how but i have three webs the three webs they just disappeared okay i don't know how i don't know how they just disappeared and in facebook i'm in facebook okay okay so we'll <laughs> we'll uh, we'll put that up on the screen and uh yeah and so if anybody wants to get a hold of you and and talk about this and and expand their own <clears throat> you know reality they can with you i know you're very knowledgeable and you do channeling and just to let everybody know um i met marielena in peru we were one of the um uh, uh, group that was there and um all of us expanded quite a bit and did a lot of uh, self-healing and rebirthing so it was a great experience yes. and i hope that we can continue uh helping others with our own individual works you know what we do and uh help this planet out at this time it's it's gonna be yes it's gonna be it's gonna be good oh yes yes no this planet is gonna be wonderful i mean this planet is heaven yeah yeah it's, it's Yes, we're preparing it to be. That's right. That's right. Where so the I'm, seeds. I'm very, very happy. So um, I'd like to thank everybody for watching this. And uh, it was an amazing session. I hope you could uh, hear it good. Um, it was a little it's bit good that we did it in English. Yeah, we did it in English because this is going to go a little bit farther. She wanted to do it in Spanish, but we're gonna, we, we did it in English. So I'd like to thank you for watching. And I hope um, I get to see you either online or in person when all this finishes. And uh, I thank you so much. Bye-bye. Thank you, Alba. Bye. Bye. -bye.